Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be introducing some really easy two-way data binding and some declarative event handling with Polymer. These are easy ways that we can start making our elements more dynamic. So check it out. We're going to get started right now. Okay, so in the last video, we had an object that we iterated over in our template here. Now, I want to show you how we can do some dynamic two-way data binding with no effort. And if you've used AngularJS, this might feel a little bit familiar because it's a really similar process. In fact, Polymer just handles a lot of this stuff for you. If we want to see this in action, we can get rid of this template repeat that we had in the last video. Let's get out of here. I'm actually going to turn this back into an H1. Okay, just like that. Yeah, get rid of this last template tag. Okay, so now we have our hello name and we just need to get rid of that parent. So hello name now once again. Now let's go ahead and reset this array here. Let's turn this back into just a single string and it's going to be this dot name. And this dot name is going to be hello world, okay? So let's save and refresh. And it looks like I accidentally deleted one of these template tags, uh, one template tag too many. Uh, so let's go ahead and add that back. Okay. Okay, now we have our hello world has returned. Okay, so let's add an input here just like that. And now we want to have this input be just a standard text input. And we want the value to be equal to, and then inside of curly brackets, just the variable name. Okay, now let's refresh our page. And we have this input that is clearly getting the value of world. However, what happens when we delete this? Let's go ahead and just select and delete it you almost the world immediately disappears. What's great about this is we can just start typing and you can see this two-way data binding. We're typing things one way in the input. It's automatically uh, being saved as that variable and then being output directly into our template. And we're not having to call any sort of update or anything like that. And we're not looking for any events. Polymer is just handling that on our own. It sees that variable is being used all over. Let's do a little experiment here and let's use two of these elements. So let's come back to our page and in our index HTML, let's use another hello world. Let's just copy and paste this one and we'll just leave this the exact same and refresh. You'll see now we have two hello worlds. So let's go ahead and delete some text from the very first one. Now, do you see what's happening? Uh, the first object is not is being modified and the second object is not being modified. So this is super cool. If we want to reuse this element all over our page, we don't have to worry about what the top one is doing as opposed to what the bottom one is doing. This one can say, hello, Scott, and this one could say, hello, Ben, and it doesn't really matter. They're independent because they're their own elements here. Now let's go ahead and delete the second one here. Now we're going to do a really basic declarative event binding by simply using the on click event. So in our hello world.html, let's come to our uh, template here and let's add a button. Okay, so we can say change name like this. And on the button itself, we're going to put the on click event. So to do that, it's just simply on hyphen click. Now inside of equals and then inside of uh, quotes, we're going to be passing in inside of curly brackets a function as to what this on click should actually be doing. So let's go ahead and write a function name that's just going to say change name. And that's all we have to do, just like that. Uh, now we need to write the function change name. So in our Polymer, script down here, we had our ready function. Let's put a comma after our ready function and add a new function for change name. So let's say change name, colon, and then function. 
And just like our ready function, we have the ability to set this.name. So we can say this.name, and we're going to have it set to a string that's just going to be hello you. Okay. So now when we click this button, it's going to hit this on click. It's going to run this function change name. Change name is going to set this.name to you. So we should see our site saying hello you after we click this button. So let's go ahead and click change name. You can see that every place that we've used that variable has been updated to what we said here. And you'll notice that we can modify this and then keep clicking change name. It's always going to run that function just sending you to you. So now we have some really basic two-way data binding. We have some basic event clicks, but what we're doing here is pretty awesome. And every little thing that you learn about Polymer and web components should just get you more and more excited about the future and using web components in your projects. So check it out, start making some stuff, and get working with Polymer. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.